right, welcome back. Uh, just thought I'd make a quick video. Uh, had some time. It's July 4th. Uh, coming back at you from the Cichlid Den. Thought I'd share a few things with you guys. Uh, first up, I think we're going to show you a clip of my Ultimate Blue Umbies. Uh, I got these from my buddy, uh, Chef Coop, out of Baltimore uh, by way of uh, Justin Holland. Uh, I saw his pair, and they're phenomenal. Uh, these guys are looking really good. I think she's coming in, and I expect them to breed here pretty soon. Uh, but uh, he's, uh, he's, he's really coming into his own. Really great markings in the face. Really beautiful specimen. There she is. You can see her coming out. She's starting to lighten up. I think she'll be coming in pretty soon. Next up, uh, my uh, marble fenestratums. Uh, a good friend of mine, Will Jackson, was able to uh, line up a supplier, and I was able to pick up uh, three. This right here is my largest male. This is the female. Very stunning fish. The video really doesn't do a, a very good job of showing a, a coloration. This is the uh, third male I have, so I've got a trio. This is my second pair of uh, red tiger motor gwents. Uh, I was having some issue with the fry. Uh, made some adjustments, and basically what it came down to was just I guess they have a high <clears throat> metabolism and they need uh, multiple feedings throughout the day. So I started feeding them three, four times a day. And uh, so far, so good. Very, very good parents. These guys defend the spawn vehemently. Uh, this is a young pair of uh, spectacles that I uh, picked up from a buddy of mine, KJ. Uh, I think they're close to spawning as well. Uh, male's been in there digging a nest trying to entice the female to come into his cave. Uh, these guys are doing really well. I had actually had some dealers in with them, and they actually picked off six uh, silver dollars. But so far, so good. They're getting along very well. You can see him there cleaning out his cave. And this is uh, the larger pair of red tiger motor gwents. Uh, probably. Uh, we'll be shipping uh, these guys out to uh, Chef uh, in uh, probably the next week or so. That's a, a big male. He's uh, probably pushing 9, almost 10 inches. Very, very nice specimen. It's really great coloration. Again, like I said, this, this, this iPhone video is really not showing, uh, showing the colors on this fish. And there's a female. Uh, beautiful beautiful fish and she's actually stressed out right now because I just moved them so she's she's not really showing all of her coloration right now but very beautiful fish it'll be coming your way uh, pretty soon chef and this is uh, my uh, Cerulius group uh, got them in a the 55 they're still uh, they're still putting on some size but very very beautiful cichlid. Uh, I actually have a I have a pair in this group that actually have bonded and they actually went through the motions of uh, spawning. Didn't actually get a, a viable spawn out of them, but they go through several color changes uh, when they uh, come into breeding behavior. A very beautiful fish. Uh, this is one I'd rec I'd highly recommend if you've got a smaller tank and you're looking to keep a. a an oddball cichlid, something that you don't see every day. <clears throat> okay, here we have uh, my larger uh, VI grow out tank. I've got a number of different species. I, I wanted to show you these guys. I just added four Bacordi. <clears throat> I'm looking to do a larger tank, and it's going to be a, a VI uh, tank. It's always been uh, ones that I, I've loved. I got, you see there, i got some irregularis in here. I've got Microthalamus, Regani, Argensia. There's uh, one of those micros right there. I've got a couple of uh, Nicaraguans. This is uh, 
my albino heckali and tiger severum tank these guys are doing really really good uh, these uh, these severums are really starting to put on some size I just wish I had more of them I'd, I'd really love to have a breeding group of these guys but fingers crossed uh, and looking at the heck of I, I've got a group of five here. I think I've got three females and two males. Uh, I like my odds with them. Uh, hopefully, I, I'll be getting a, a spawning off of these guys in the, uh, in the future. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to my buddy Deck. I know he's got a really nice group of these uh, red tiger severums. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping he gets a spawn pretty soon, so I can get some more to add to this group. But I uh, got them in with some uh, Roseline Sharks, uh, some Cory Cats, uh, a host of uh, Eyeball Plecos, uh, but really nice display tank. And uh, right below here, this is my second Veja Grow Out tank. I've got a, a few uh, header spills that I produce myself. I've got some more micros. These, these guys that you see there crossing, these guys all came in the same group. It's just, it's weird how some fish outgrow others. So uh, I'm actively trying to get a pair of micros. I'd like to spawn them as well. So I'm, uh, I'm sitting on them. This is uh, my uh, Gorilla's Fry that I'm growing out. I'm attempting to get another pair. Uh, I may have mentioned it before in a previous video. Uh, my big male, Colossus, passed away. And I wind up passing uh, his female, the mother to these fish, onto a buddy of mine that's uh, that's got a a, a male. But uh, I'm trying to grow these guys out. Uh, another one of my very uh, favorite fish. And these are some uh, spectable fry. Some grow outs I got from my buddy James Decker, as well as a few fry from one of my <coughs> previous pairs that I'm grow that I uh, that I kept. And I'm growing out, uh, attempting to get another pair of these guys. Uh, really nice cichlid. Uh, very beautiful. Uh, I guess uh, you can see I like these guys too. This is uh, my Heterospelis uh, breeding group. Uh, actually, I've got five females and one large male. And I've got a, a, a female microthalamus in with these guys and a female brother eye. I lost the, lost the male brother eye and I lost my male micro. So I'm attempting to grow out another. Uh, like I said, I, I'm attempting to spawn these guys. See, there's my female micro right there. And you can see these guys are really coming into their own. The Heller spills have lots of beautiful different colorations. Really starting to come into their own. And this is my group of uh, Media Luna Labradins. You can see these guys are starting, really starting to color up. This is this this is uh, breeding coloration they're starting to come into. Uh, I think I've got these two, I believe, or two females because they chase each other constantly. And I've got a a really nice male. He's uh, he's he's hiding right now, so I'm not really sure if uh, if they're gonna do something this time, but. Uh, Fingers crossed. Uh, I would really love to spawn these guys. One of my favorite cichlids of all time. Very beautiful cichlid when they come to breeding coloration. And these are some Myricide grow outs. Another in the Caquasia family along with the Umbi and the Spectables. I got a kind of soft spot in my heart for these guys too. Always wanted to grow some of these out. I've kept them before but have kept having mishaps. But so far, so good with these guys. Uh, they're doing very well. And I just thought I'd show you uh, these Ruby uh, Oscars. I'm growing out. Uh, these guys are going to be added to the 500-gallon uh, peacock bass tank over at my buddy's house. So we're just trying to put some size on these guys. we also got a giraffe cat in here as well. But that's about it. Just wanted to share with you guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.